G'day viewers, here we are, Project Invictus. Today we're going to the top. Where? All the way to the top, roof racks. Okay, the backbone's just been released for the roof rack, okay, for the current generation BT50 D-Max. Um, all I can say is, if you have doubts of doing this and you're not, you know, I guess, I wouldn't say mechanically minded, but if you haven't got your hardware into putting that onto position, make sure you get it professionally installed, okay? Because I've seen a lot of people put their roof racks on and uh, DIYs, and I've seen a lot of reports where the roof's leaking, they haven't sealed it properly, they're coming off, okay? Make sure if you have any doubt, like I do, get it professionally done. However, the rear one, my son and I did it ourselves, probably about 40 minutes. Um, pretty easy with the feet and all that. I'll put the measurements up there now of the platform, the feet, uh, the product code for the feet um, that fits the premium canopy because the rail's are already in there and the uh, platform sizes, okay? Another thing to be very wary about and as people are being caught out, do not exceed your safe load limits okay know your safe working load now i can tell you after much research which i thought was 85 kilograms but it's actually at 100 for the current generation d max bt50 roof safe working load the rear canopy without the internal struts is about 80 kilo okay when you install this you got to take into consideration not just the platform weight but your backbone weight, minus that off your safe working load, then whatever you attach. I think I've got about 70 kilo, maybe 60 to play with on here. And I'm probably at max this with my awning, which is about 20, and max tracks attachments um, in the shovel. So a couple of swags and I'm at limit. However, here you can fit a fit bit more on. Now you see some pictures on our last trip the great thing I love about these racks is like a Meccano set. You put your jerry can holders, your bike rack holders, um, you can put in a couple of um, gas cylinder holders. Make sure you watch your late weights though. Um, but when you get back from your trip or overlanding, you can take them off, okay? Don't recommend having them around town. Take your choose up your fuel. But you can just detach them and have it nice and clean. What I love about it, it's so simple to do. All right, and you can configure it any which way that works best for you. All right, that's it. Um, that's another episode of Project Invictus. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you got something out of it. Please subscribe to help the channel grow. And then if you want to know more about these modifications that I'm doing a, a bit of a expose on, um, hit that notifications bell. All right, until next time, stay safe. And as you can see, this is how long it's been since I've seen Nurse since. Uh, maybe you might not think that, but it's been a long time with the growth I've got. It's pretty long for me. So stay safe and uh, take care. Uh, adapter, uh, well, the Max Tracks wrap. Good. Yeah.